complain. Pretty good. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. While you're here, hit that subscribe button below. Really helps the channel out. Also head on over to Instagram. We're at, at, at Outdoor Enthusiast 88. We post a lot of pictures prior to doing reviews. And the review today is the very much anticipated CZ right from the Czech Republic black windowed magazines, almost PMAG like. Now, I've had these for a couple of months now, been running them. You might've seen them in a few of the CZ reviews I've done. It's also 95 degrees out here, 200% humidity probably <laughs> in North Carolina. So I've been sweating, but it's been a great day at the range so far. Uh, these mags have run flawlessly. You'll notice that people are worried about them not locking up. No problems there. Drop free. And you compare that to a regular CZ mag. 20 rounders. Manticore arms. I mean, they all work pretty good and these are no exception. Uh, the original mags, you might've seen my review, we have to kind of shave off the catch right here a little bit to make them work and kind of click in a little, without dragging too much, a little bit more looser fit in the mag well. These come pre-rounded off and here I'll zoom in, show you guys some of the features and we'll kind of compare the other mags to them. So here they are. If you look at them compared to a regular CZ mag, you notice a couple of small differences primarily with the feed lips, which is, of course is the biggest issue CZ has had forever since the Scorpion came out, the Scorpion Evo. Uh, you'll see it's squared off on the original mags, all right, but rounded off on this mag and also a little bit thicker feed lips. All right, you'll see a couple of our other minor differences. Again, squared off, rounded off. I think they took a book at a PMAG, honestly at a Magpul's uh, PMAG kind of instructions because these look a lot like a CZ Scorpion PMAG. And I think the, the fact that it's rounded off on these parts really make a more rigid design, much more reliable. You can even see the, uh, the front. Just kind of compare all the way around. Check that out, much more rigid design. Some almost grippy. This stuff right here, it's not really sandpaper. It's like, uh, if it is, it's like a thousand grit sandpaper, right? I mean, it's not too grippy. It's definitely a raised edge. It's better than just a regular magazine, honestly. Look at the back, same thing. They added this webbing all the way down. Base plate. There you go. Windows, there's two windows on each side. Notice that there. On the back here, you'll see the stampings are a little different. These are not CZ USA. These are right from the Czech Republic. So just note that. So for those of you wondering about the spring assembly and how the in inside actually looks, if they look similar or different, it is slightly different. Of course, one is CZ, one is CZ USA. And the big difference here is the round follower. Notice how the new ones have actual piece sticking out where the spring wraps around. The old ones kind of just have the spring stick inside. Probably helps with reliability a little bit there. But overall, very similar, minus that bottom piece there. All right, let's go ahead, put a few more rounds through her. That is how the full 30 round magazine looks with the windows. It has markings on both sides, little holes let you know how much is in there. Let's go ahead, run it through. <laughs> no issues whatsoever. Love these things. These are gonna be my new mags. I'm gonna get a bunch more of these for the Scorpion. Cannot complain at all. Flawless. So, well, hey, thanks for watching, guys. Hey, subscribe to the channel, like I said earlier. Uh, make sure you guys like this video. Let me know if you have any questions below. I'll be happy to answer them and uh, have a good one.